Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the anti-malware service executable is experiencing high CPU or memory usage on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward process, and all you have to do is start by opening up the search icon, type in security. On Windows 11, it should say Windows Security underneath Apps. Go ahead and open that up. Windows 10, it probably will say Windows Defender. They change the name of this so often. Um, but anyway, you're going to go ahead and select Virus and Threat Protection here. And then you're going to scroll down underneath where it says Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Select the Manage Settings button. And scroll down again. Where it says exclusions, Microsoft Defender antivirus won't scan items that have been excluded. Excluded items could contain threats that make your device vulnerable. Go ahead and select add or remove exclusions. And then select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. At this point, go ahead and select the add an exclusion button. And then you want to select file. So go ahead and left click on file. And now on the left side, you want to select this PC. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Program Files folder, and then locate Windows Defender. Double click on it. Look for something that says MSMPENG. So let's just look for it here for a sec. So again, you go down to MSMPENG, all one word. Go ahead and select that, and then select OK. And then once you're done with that, you should be good to go. So, pretty straightforward process, guys, and then you just would close out of here. Would recommend restarting your computer. And that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.